nightmare's end. Overpowered. Helpless. A sacrifice to violent gods. I'm sorry, Ian. No! No! That one was new. The girl screaming for help. Where the hell did she come from? I need some water. 18 months of nightmares. Ever since I escaped from that hell. 18 months. Relentless. Unchanging. And suddenly her. She wanted to take me somewhere. What pulled her away like that? Marcus? Who else? Sorry to disturb you so late, but I had a bad feeling. How are you? Not good. Nightmares? Hallucinations? Both. But this time it was different. There was a woman, Marcus. Do you know her? No. But she seemed... familiar. Like I should know her. Do the pills still work? Yes, thank you. Not only for this. For everything. Ian? I mean it. I turned up out of nowhere, with the weirdest story and you believed me. You took me in, let me stay in the beach house, got me medication. You're my brother, Ian. There's nothing in the goddamn world I wouldn't do for you. Thanks anyway. Thank me later. I have a present for you. I found a trace. The man who took me? There's a traitor trying to sell a remarkable drug. It's called Nexus, and it's supposed to give the user certain... Abilities. He's selling to a pretty shady organization tomorrow morning. Give me his address. They rented two floors of the Crowley Arms, downtown. The place will be brimming with mercenaries, Ian. I don't care. If he's the lead, I'll be there. Are you sure you can control it? Yes. Good. I will keep on digging and send you the information tomorrow. Rest now. Take the blues if you need them, and gather your strength. We will bring them down, Marcus. We will burn them to the ground. Good night, Ian. Good night. Out of the ruins of World War II arose another battle. An arms race began 
with each side employing the brightest and most ruthless scientists to develop a new weapon, the human mind. With government backing, projects like MK Ultra gave birth to a dark age of science. Inhumane experiments were conducted on prisoners, students, and even children. Their goal, unlocking the hidden power and potential of the mind. Most were shut down from their dangerous methods and lack of success. But there are many who believe that they were continued in secret, financed by private organizations hungry for the promised powers. Powers attained through pain and suffering, turning men into monsters. Father always said, only the weak speak to themselves. But I like it. It keeps me focused. Helps me make sense of this mess. Three years I'm missing from my memory. Three years between stepping out of a plane from Syria and waking up on a highway in England. I have no idea what went on in that time. But something changed in me. Something I can't explain. My mind is not the same anymore. I can see and do things that should not be possible. I have somehow gained a power that I can barely control. A power that's turning me insane. Whatever has been done to me, I'm still a soldier. And a human being. If I hold on to these thoughts, I will survive. I should check my gun before the morning. I'll need it tomorrow. Who do you turn to when you are lost? Your family. Marcus was smarter than I. He left the service long before me, made his fortune as a doctor. He was there for me, and still is. Father loved chess. He forced us to play him every night. If we lost, no cookies for dessert. It took me five years to beat him once, and I still think he let me win. resignation papers. No idea how Marcus got hold of them. I don't even remember quitting. Did the army turn me in? The shooting range is locked. I've read many accounts of outer body experiences throughout the world, but nothing like my own. At will I can leave my body and see myself from the outside. Marcus is a well-connected man, but despite his contacts, our investigation into my disappearance has only drawn blanks. We can't find no one who shares my story, no clues or pieces that fits the puzzle. But this struck this nexus it's the strongest lead we've had so far since my abduction I see the world in a different way or should I say I see it in a different rate if I concentrate I can see everything in slow motion it's beautiful to watch but leaves a splitting headache
When I first came here, I had no control over my powers. I destroyed every electrical device in the house. With practice, I have learned to control it and only destroy what I choose. Marcus insists that I keep a dream diary. He says it's vital that I record all hallucinations and dreams. The entries are always the same. Horrific locations. Violent deaths. But last night, was different. The woman calling my name. She has to mean something. I know what you're thinking. What kind of person has a shooting range in their basement? Well, I'm not a normal person. Besides, it was Marcus I did. He thought it would help with my recovery. Dream is good for a soldier. Marcus believes my power is not gift. But he doesn't know what it's like to feel the very sanity of my mind. That's why I try to do things the old-fashioned way. If I keep my skills sharp and remember my training, I shouldn't need It's getting late. I should get some rest before tomorrow. in the house? should get some sleep. All right. Concentrate. No nightmares. The woman from my dream last night, she has to mean something. I know it. Maybe if I focus on her, she will come back. She was beautiful. <laughs> 